you? There is definitely a problem. I find I I've worked with low income families before and volunteering, and sometimes getting their youth into good education and good like medical care as well is, is really tough for them. Um, I would say yes in that it needs to be thought about, but I mean, there's not much awareness among people. Not like. For children, children that are under the age of 16, there are plenty of resources. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as soon as your ch child or a child goes out of school, then they have less and less resources. I don't know, I think making services for children who or if you don't have services is a really important step because I think the really big problem is the cracks where it doesn't happen. Like I, I am a teacher and I, I knew a little boy and he didn't fit anywhere. And he's young right now, but that problem is going to continue for the rest of his life. So I think it's really important to make places for the nobody do. Yeah. I mean, I noticed that a lot of um, a lot of kids aren't able to go and play sports mm -hmm. because the, the sports sports are very expensive. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, for they have certain requirements and yeah. cer certain things to, for them to qualify. Yeah. One thing is the parents, especially, they can't always find the best work. Right. And if they have large families, there's not much government help per student, like per. Uh, Per child, okay. like they offer a bit of help, but there should be more per child. You know, honestly, you go to like what and you yeah. go to Jasper, you see a lot more of it. Yeah. Um, in school, a lot of kids would hide that kind of stuff, so you yeah. didn't really, you weren't really exposed, or you were just, you're not familiar, you're not conscious of that. Right. There are, there are like the certain sides of towns that yeah. do have more sources and yeah. resources, right? Yeah. Maybe because they have more like people in that area that yeah. are, or don't have low yeah. income. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, definitely. I noticed like on the south side, there's yeah. a lot more programs and stuff than there yeah. is on the north side of right. the west end. Right. I think so. I think the things that have gotten me most are like personal, like stories of people who I see and who I have like personally interacted with. So I think, um, you know, real stories. If students that were like really young, like grade in the early grades, knew about some programs that they could. Get at in their older years. Just find different tools on how to help people, and obviously volunteering is better mm -hmm. in the long run. I'm a, um, I'm a single mom of two kids, so I've um, resorted to private ones. Whereas in like communities, there's certain funds for certain single parents, or there's um, people like private people that will sponsor sponsor kids or help them go into programs. Um, private and public. There, there's some great programs up there, out there, but I think there needs to be more awareness about them. I know I've had to like mustard seed. I met families that had no idea what that was and how it could help them. And I think maybe trying to get that out there to the families and the children is very important. There, I think there needs to be organizations that actually get into the schools and the neighborhoods and try and work with the children one on one, mm -hmm. for sure.